Hey everybody, Tony D and Little Joan here with the Screenwriter's Rant on Night Raiders. Uh, a movie coming out of New Zealand that looks kind of interesting, but I am very suspicious of anything that comes out of New Zealand these days. Uh, smash like and subscribe. Thank you for smash liking and subscribing. Please check out my books. Links in the description. Um, and you could find all my books at Amazon.com. Support the channel. Get a book. Get an ebook. Uh, Kindle Unlimited is free, and we still get paid. Um, also check out our videos on BitChute and Rumble. And I am at the um, New Jersey Horror Con Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, Labor Day weekend, at the Showboat Casino in Atlantic City. Now, Night Raiders. Uh, it's called Night Raiders because it's a post-apocalyptic world where they started a big war, a lot of people died, and now they're drafting the children. So the object of this movie is uh, this mother is trying to keep her child from getting caught. She runs into this guy. He's also trying to keep his son from getting caught and drafted. And uh, drone technology is big in this. So like waves of drones show up. Uh, from executive producer Tak Takik, I can never pronounce his name, Watiti. Watiti, I know the last name. You know who I mean. The guy who's doing all the Marvel movies. Uh, he's very funny, um, but this is a very serious movie, so he's just the executive producer. Um, but it looks good. It looks good. So they draft these kids, and they turn them into killing machines, and then it's about trying to get them out and saving them after they're caught. Uh, the cops catch her and eventually throw her into the system and teach her how to kill, and it's about whether or not they can get them out. And the drone technology is big in this, and also they talk about indigenous people in this too I'm not sure uh, what that means in in the movie I mean it's just bad to draft children for a war I don't know why you gotta make it racial but um, this is New Zealand so <laughs> it's the New Zealand uh, Film Commission they were in association with it uh, written produced and directed by Dennis Goulet Good for you. Doing doing a lot of heavy lifting there. Um, and uh, kudos to Watiki to, for uh, helping out a, a small filmmaker who's really doing some work here. Um, and it looks good. I mean, it looks solid. It looks sufficiently dystopian. Um, do we have a date on this movie? I don't think we do. Uh, it, um, you know, it can address a lot of issues. Uh, haunting, hopeful, and essential. You know, some of these, some of these quotes make me not want to see the movie. I don't trust these guys. The chilling and provocative, uh, provocative debut from director Dennis Goulet. I don't really trust these guys. So that's more of a hindrance to me than a benefit when I see these quotes now, because the media has so betrayed us so many times in so many movies. Um, there's another quote here uniquely and devastatingly beautiful proof that indigenous storytelling is eternal. Uh, Shea Vassar, Film School Rejects. What the hell does that mean? I don't, I don't understand what that means. Indigenous storytelling is eternal? Why, why, why do you make that distinction? That, that to me is a distinction without a, a difference. Good sto storytelling is eternal. Doesn't matter if it's indigenous. Doesn't matter. It absolutely does not. Um, and I don't see how this is indigenous storytelling other than uh, apparently indigenous people are in it, but it certainly takes place in the far future or not too distant future. It's got drones in it. So, it, so is this some sort of re modern retelling of an indigenous story? If so, you probably should have put that in the trailer if that's the emphasis. I'm not seeing that. This, this to me is a typical dystopian movie the elites want war. Uh, they're they're using people to, you know, fill the ranks of their soldiers, and it disrupts people's lives. Okay, now I don't know if they're going to push the whole collective narrative with the good guys in this, but certainly you can get behind people who don't want to be drafted in a <clears throat> in a war. I don't know who's New Zealand's going to be fighting. <laughs> <laughs> I don't, I don't know what war they're going to be fighting exactly, but okay, you know, as a libertarian, I'm all about staying home and protecting your own. That's kind of the way, you know, most countries should be, unless they have to defend, you know, 
going overseas to find my monsters to destroy get us in more trouble so that portion of the the the, the story i can get behind if that's what it is but again it's all tainted with the the critics who have become partisan and some of the filmmakers too so hopefully it's not hopefully it is a universal story about how the elites exploit the people beneath them and uh you know we don't have to make this distinction about the race of the people who made the movie uh but that's it for me tony d so check out night raiders and uh we'll see you in the next video